Hey everyone, how we doing? My name is Tim Pongres and this is Focus on Detailing. Today's video is all about Shine Armor's Fortify Quick Coat. I'm going to be delving right in, putting it to the test, and hopefully finding out if it's worth it. So what is it exactly? They say it's a one-step solution for washing, protecting and leaving a glossy finish. It's advertised as a waterless wash with an SiO2 ceramic formula made up within it. Now that would make it fall under the ceramic spray category, which is a massive statement as it would put it up against some high level competition. This is a video that few have asked for, but I've really wanted to review it. As soon as Facebook finds out that you're into car detailing, you'll soon find Shine Armor Fortify Quick Coat plastered all across your Facebook homepage, showing you just what it can do. I guess you could say their method of advertising really does work. But whether all of that positive feedback has any merit is up for debate. I'm not here to bash anyone's opinion, nor am I going to rat on this product. I never have before and likely never will, but that doesn't void it of scrutiny, as that's what this video is all about. I'm going to be going over its overall performance, finding out what it can do well and not so well. Now with that being said, I think it's time to get straight into the test video. The car I have with me to test Shine Armor is the Mighty VT Commodore. As you can tell, there is a fine layer of dust and other mess, but a perfect opportunity to test its waterless wash capabilities. I started by having a damp waffle weave towel, sprayed it down with a quick coat, then doubling up by spraying over the selected work area. Making sure to use an adequate amount as I wanted to see slash feel if it helped with the lubricity. That in turn would help prevent installing light scratches. I then gently wiped in straight motions, collecting the mess safely in the towel, flipping every time it was too dirty or after each wipe as it was pretty grubby. All going well, it should help to emulsify the mess to create a safer way of cleaning a surface over just water and a towel. It should feel slick and glide across as it collects the mess. It's quite hard to tell if it did help with the slickness, but it was doing a great job of cleaning the selected area. Once completed that area, I used a second towel to immediately buff any residue from the quick coat. It felt quite slippery now under the towel, which did build confidence. So with that, I continued over half the bonnet in preparation for a 50-50 comparison. You might not be able to see, but this bonnet has plenty of defects and swirls. But in reality, most cars, unless given proper correction, will be the same. And the likely target audience of this product is people that want to give their dailies a quick clean. So this would be a prime example of the average car getting the shine armor treatment. I don't bother with the tape as I'd be doing the other side anyway, but this brings me to my first grievance with waterless washers. You will likely get a residual line around the perimeter where you were cleaning, as it's not wise to use your buffing towel to clean it up, just in case you make contact with the adjacent dirty panel. But if you are planning on doing the whole car, I guess it's not a major issue. As stated, it does feel nice and slick. It does look far superior, but that's not much of an achievement yet, considering the other side is still soiled. I wanted this to work, so before wetting the car down, I applied another layer directly over where I'd been, spraying down the now clean panel, spreading it, and then buffing it off. We can now bring on the water and see those protective capabilities. I sprayed it down with a shower-like method, and unfortunately, it didn't seem overly hydrophobic. In fact, the other side seemed to be superior at repelling water. That did have an old layer of Autoglim's Polar Seal, so I'm impressed with how that's holding up. It didn't really bead nor sheet the water off, so that's not an overly good sign, but I was determined to make it work. I washed down the entire bonnet and dried it. This time we'll be starting on a clean surface. Kind of defeats the purpose of a waterless wash, but I was more focused now on the hydrophobic abilities. I applied it again and waited a little longer before wetting. Although no curing time was stated, I still wanted to be sure. There was no change. The water behaved the same, but I wasn't done. I needed this to work. Now, if the short term was unsuccessful, there's no use in testing the long term protective capabilities, right? 
Well, they do state that it can last from two to three months. So I think I should test it, but this time on a properly prepped surface to make sure I'm getting the most out of it. And maybe it could last longer if there was a curing time and I didn't hit water with it straight away. So I went to the back of the car and gave it the clay bar treatment, a quick single stage correction and an IPA wipe down to set Shine Armor up the best I can. It wasn't perfect, but it was an improvement just for this test. I gave the boot a good spray down directly, spread evenly, then buffed clean. No streaks left, but a nice slick surface to finish. I assessed to see if there was a difference. It felt far superior than the other side, and a nice gloss was left behind. I can't imagine many people doing correction work and then using a protective waterless wash to finish, so this is pretty extreme. I waited a week before giving it a run. I use this car daily, and it does sit out in the sun but I did give the surface multiple coatings and on a decent surface, so the bond should be superior. Unfortunately, there was no SiO2 level hydrophobic behavior. It was sheeting, but no outstanding levels. I don't think there was a use in testing the short-term results on a prep surface if I couldn't get any outstanding results from the attempts before over the bonnet. And this is only after a week. In terms of paint protective sprays, that is the short term. So to sum it up, easy spray on, wipe and buff clean solution. I don't believe it's a revolutionary product. Having the ability to be up there with the other sprays that have a ceramic compound is too far of a stretch. It does, however, create a surface slick to the touch that does enhance the gloss level slightly. Does it work as a quick method of cleaning your car? Yes. Does it make for a great waterless wash? Kind of. It's a small bottle with a small draw trigger that will be time consuming to do an entire car. I'm only being a little bit negative here because I'm not overly fond of waterless washers. Is it worth it for $20 US equating to around $26 AUD for a 236ml bottle? Not really. But if you were after a product to have in your pocket at a car show for a quick detailer, then I believe this is for you. It does clean, it does shine, but I wouldn't say it protects to an extreme degree. And stating that it's the ultimate ceramic coating formula is going to set some high standards and expectations to live up to. Would I stop you from buying it? No. You've seen it here and it's good to make your own choice as it may fit in exactly with what you want. So that's just another opinion on Fortify Quick Coat by Shine Armor. I think I'll finish up on that note and close up this video. Thank you all for watching and don't forget to check out the socials. Stay safe and I'll catch you all later.